Hello everyone, this is Jeffrey GTI7 and welcome to the video. Uh, before I get to the actual gameplay in video for today's uh, episode, just wanted to wish everyone a very happy and blessed Memorial Day uh, as we celebrate our men and women service that have made the sacrifice of fighting for us um, for either World War One or World War II or the past couple wars we have faced. Um, just remember today, uh, this is a special day where we commemorate and remember all of those uh, in the force um, that fought for us and that they basically took the guts and bravery and put it to the test as they fought for us um, for these last couple of generations. Um, also, this being Memorial Day weekend, uh, this is practically the most special or busiest uh, weekend for racing motorsports. So, here's today you had the Monaco Grand Prix and the Indy 500. I was able to watch the Indy 500 uh, from lap 30 all the way to the end. Really enjoyed the race, um, even though the end of the race did kind of made some kind of controversy of how it ended. But I'm not going to really get into it. Um, NASCAR's race at the 600 got postponed, so it'll be on later today around 3 o'clock Eastern Time Zone. Um, but again, uh, just remember guys what today really is all about. Uh, if you do have the sun out and fire up that grill. Um, anyway, hope you guys have a good moral day. And now, we're going to now focus with the video. Uh, so today's episode, we'll be using the Nissan GTR R33 uh, 1997 uh, year model. Now, the only way to get this car besides winning it is usually you'll find it here at the used car dealership. Well, unfortunately, at this time of recording, uh, it is not available. But there are plenty of cars out here in this used car lot you can still use and you can uh, still do the engine swapped. Uh, mainly the best bet right here is the Cappuccino. Uh, small low red car. I did a video on it last night so I'll have the video at the end of the episode for you guys to click on if you guys want to check that video out. Um, anyway if you do have the car uh, the next step you're going to go is you're going to go to GT Auto. You're going to go under service and maintenance. And here's the engine swap. Uh, you're using the R92 CP, uh, this is the Lamal prototype race car, 1.6 million credits. So this is by far the most expensive engine swap that I've yet counted. As we watch the guys switch the engines out, just that simple. And that's basically it for the part one. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add wide body to the car. Alright, next thing I'm going to show you guys is the livery that I'll be using. Um, I already have it up in my page newsfeed. Uh, there's my profile if you guys want to look me up. It's right here. This beautiful golden red trim uh, paint job. I just love how that gold just reflects off the car. It's just a gorgeous paint job. Um, I'll show you guys the parts that you'll need for this livery or if you want to use your own livery um, I'll show you guys what you need to do uh, if you want to do that as well so we're back here at GT Auto uh, front is type B side is type B rear is type A And you need the custom wing set. And I believe you'll need roll cage C. I forgot to show that, but I think you need the roll cage type C if you want to do the roll cage. Here's the tire rims uh, for the car. And I'll show you guys the option um, what you need to choose to have it set on 19 inch, the rim width, 
is standard and is wide offset. Here's the setup that I'll be using for today's episode. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, once you have everything together, it should be 599.99. So I'm gonna, uh, the tire choice I have is port hards. Suspension is normal. Uh, differential is fully customized. You either can copy the numbers or you can have it set up uh, to your own liking. Uh, the torque factoring set center differential is normal. Front downforce is zero. The rear downforce is 268. Uh, you do need the full control computer. Set the ECU to 96. Uh, next thing you need is a fully customized manual transmission set to 370. Uh, your next upgrade would be the brake pads uh, sport. Semi racing clutch and flywheel. Carbon propeller shaft. Low 50 only. And increased body rigidity. That's basically it for the setup. So nothing too crazy or way out there. Uh, the only special part you basically need is the carbon propeller shaft, which is level 50. Okay, now I'll show you the, a quick demonstration and the hot lap together. Uh, this overall race strategy, you'll be racing in view map 1. As you can already tell, uh, like on the thumbnail, there's no pit stops. You can tell the tires are in excellent shape. But most importantly, uh, the fuel uh, mileage we have for this engine mod is really, really strong. Uh, matter of fact, we don't even need to have fuel uh, for the car. So the first turn, you're going to be in third gear through that part. This car is just a really smooth, solid feeling car. Next thing, you're going to go through here, just right close to the wall right there. Going to be in fourth gear through this section right here as well. You're going to break right, right approach into 50 sign. You're going to stay in fourth gear. Uh, it's going through the city district. Then breaking here underneath the bridge, you can stay in fourth gear. And may, most of these turns here, you're just going to break a little bit and just let the car just take control. Uh, you can just see how smooth the car just really takes these corners. Just really planted, really smooth these corners. Alright, third gear for this section right here, and then get back to full power. And then your last breaking point to this very tight right double right hander. Right when you press the 200 sign, you're going to break, and you'll be all the way down to second gear. Let the car roll throughout the apex, then go half throttle, and then once you have traction, go full throttle. And that's basically it for Tokyo. Uh, the car, like I said, is very smooth, very solid. Um, very grippy. So if you have this car, this should be a pretty easy, smooth handling car to drive if you have this car. I really recommend doing it. It'll cost you a pretty penny, but it's worth it. And that's basically it for Tokyo. As we cross the finish line, it's going to be 25 minutes 34 seconds. Um, so yeah. Uh, with that no pit stop strategy, uh, able to lap nearly the whole field with the top four. The Honda, the Nissan, and the RX-7. So, if you have this car, I really recommend trying this out. And we kept it clean, uh, they didn't run any AI or uh, got off the track, so we got the clean race bonus as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, hope you guys have a very good blessed memorial day and if you guys do want to check out my last episode using suzuki cappuccino there's a video up there you can click on um, also a very strong car to use um, as well hope this video has been helpful to you hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope you guys have a good rest of the day and i'll see you guys later take care